Hey YouTube, shout out to everybody who's in here. Y'all see from the title, y'all know what we are about to get into today. Before we do though, y'all go ahead and hit the like button and hit the subscribe button. Let's take a listen to this video right here. Do you find relationships to be transactional? Yes. Like all of mm. them. Everything is transaction. Breathing is a transaction. I just hate the word transaction. A transaction means I'm bartering to me. It means mm -hmm. that I'm only coming to you because I need something from you. Using each other. We're a social animal. Okay. We, we need each other to survive. Parents need their children to continue the bloodline, AKA to not go extinct. So there's nothing wrong with needing, there's nothing wrong with using people, using people incorrectly. That's how you break stuff. You use a hammer to hold open a door. Right. You break the hammer. You use it as a fork. You break your teeth. Fundamentally, if things are truly transactional from a very clear space, everybody benefits because like, oh, you're valuable to me. How are you valuable to me? Because you have value, which means you're useful, which means you're to be used. Mm -hmm. You can't say that someone is valuable to you and say you don't believe in transaction. Saying this is valuable. I want this. I need this. That's a beautiful thing. I need you because you're so valuable. It's romantic. I like that explanation. Yeah. You know, and he did drop a lot of bars. He, he, he made some great sense in this clip. Um, he reminded me of something that my miles monroe said you know um there's nothing wrong with using people but when you use them incorrectly that's where the problem lies right when you're in a relationship you're in a marriage uh, more specifically you're using your husband for the qualities that he brings to the relationship and your husband will be using you as his wife for those qualities that's where interdependence come in Right, I touched on a previous video where a lot of these women, and I, I want to say it was the same podcast too. A lot of these women will be walking around talking about, "Oh, I'm independent. I don't need no for no from. I don't need a man for nothing. I don't need no from nobody. I pay all my bills." Blah blah blah, which we know is government system, but that's beyond the point. Um, they'll say like, "Oh, I'm independent," but as a as a gentleman said, as humans, we need people. Now here why women like her would say things like you know the term transactional um leaves a, a bitter taste in her mouth because they're not they don't got anything to give as i said earlier your husband will be using you for the qualities of a wife a lot of these broads they ain't wives they do not have the wifey skills that needs to be used by a husband. I said what I said. When you ask them what you bring to the table, what they say, y'all know what they say. I am the table. I am the table. I am. Like, make it make sense. No, if you come to the relationship with the mindset that, oh, I am the table. I don't need to bring anything. You should just see me and my pretty looks and give me the husband qualities, but you should not demand anything in return. That's why they will hate relationships being transactional. A lot of these bras just want to sit there and get the benefits of being a wife, but don't want to put in the work as a wife. They don't want to wash, cook, clean. They say that slavery and hero, they don't want to submit. They don't want to obey. No, 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 no. Because they said that's 1950s doormat housewife treatment. But at the same time, they want a man to protect. They want a man to provide. They want a man to pay all the bills like we're in the 1950s. But they don't want to wash, cook, clean and submit like we're in the 1950s. They don't want to hold up their end of the bargain, but they want to benefit from a transactional relationship. A relationship cannot be successful if it's one-sided. A marriage can't work if only one person is giving and the other person is just taking and not reciprocating. I had reviewed a video a couple um a couple days now when the young lady was like, it's hard as a liberal woman, a liberal feminist, to meet a man who wants to pay all the bills and be in his masculine role. Like, no shit, sure. Come on, we kill her. Come on, man. You know no better than that as a cool person. Come on, man. Common sense supposed to tell you that you can't be a liberal feminist and expect a traditional man at the same time if you choose to step out and be this whole independent woman then 
Be okay with a man who is going to depend on you. Be okay with an independent man who is going to tell you to pay the bills. Go 50-50. It's so ironic and hypocritical that these same independent boss babes frown upon men who say, okay, let's go 50-50. Like, make it make sense. A lot of these women talking points, is the math just never adds up. If you boss babe independent can pay your own bills, why are you so offended when a man said, Let's split the bills 50-50. You boss, babe, though. Why are you so offended when a man slides you the check after the date? You boss, babe. Make it make sense. It's either you want both of y'all independent or you're okay with a transactional relationship. You pay the bills because I wash, cook, and clean and submit. You pay the bills because it is your house and I submit to your leadership. But we want to pick and choose. Feminism lied to us and told us that we can pick and choose what part of a relationship we want to apply to us. And it don't work like that. And a lot of women are finding out the hard way. A lot of women post wall, bitter as hell, because they're finding out the hard way that it does not work like that. And instead of opening their mouth and warning young girls to not go down the same path they went through, do not end up out here post wall single having to freeze your eggs because no man don't want you you did not learn how to work with a man instead of speaking the honest truth they will come up here in front and act like they're happy they're happy with their lonely life they're happy being independent they're happy taking trips every other month when a blind man can see the reason you taking so many girls trip is because you're unhappy with yourself i said what i said hey Come at me if you must, but point out where I lied. I know this was a, a bitter topic for so many. Ah, it burns! It burns! And even when we bring up the whole transactional side of a relationship, so many people think that that's a negative thing. But why would you want to be in a relationship with someone who is not reciprocating the same energy that you are giving? If you're in your role as a man... Why would, and you're, you're giving, you know, you're doing your duties as a man. Why would you not want a woman who is in her role as a woman and doing her duties as a woman? Like if we were to think about it, if we minus, well, what, what is it? Two plus two is one, is four. <laughs> two plus two is four. If you minus one, where you get? Two plus two is four minus one. That's three quick maths. But it's your girl, Shanta, y'all. Go ahead and hit the like button. Hit the subscribe button if you haven't already. And please leave your thoughts in the comment section. I will see y'all in the next video. Take care. Bye.